The game's attracting 50 television crews and reporters from as far away as Japan and Mexico. But as the hoopla builds up, opponents say they're raising $100,000 for a new legal fight to turn the lights off. This isn't a baseball issue. This is a neighborhood issue. The tradition going down tonight of daytime baseball is not the one that we're concerned about, and that's neighborhood self-determination. The fight's been going on over the past seven years, ever since the Tribune Company bought the Cubs. Neighborhood opponents have been well organized and even wrote an anti-light song. It's only out at Wrigley when the sun is high that I really come alive. But there have been pro-light rallies as well. been a long, heavy political fight. The late Mayor Washington once blasted baseball officials and threatened to move any Cubs postseason games to St. Louis. Since when were they in a position to tell us that our team, and it belongs to us, has to go 300 miles away to play a baseball game? They got a lot of nerve. Today, pro-light leaders say it's their day in the sun. A struggle has ended. Uh, an opportunity has opened up for working baseball fans to see uh, the Cubs play at night. Some residents are bracing for a feared onslaught by putting up new fences. Some local political leaders say the courts will have the ultimate say, but that the Tribune Company should not underestimate continued anti-light sentiment in the neighborhood. The community may have setbacks, but they never lose entirely in the long, long run.